trying to expose some beats. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new exciting video. My name is Greg, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really awesome particle tracking effect inside of Premiere Pro and After Effects. So without further ado, let's hop onto After Effects on our computers and drag our clip onto the timeline. Once After Effects is loaded and you have your clip on your timeline, we're going to select our clip and hit Track Camera. Basically, After Effects is going to go through the video and find points that it can use to track objects to your particular clip. This does take a while, depending on the specs of your computer and how fast your computer is. In the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you check out my Instagram at greghutcherson underscore visuals and maybe drop me a follow. I'd really appreciate it if you do that. So once After Effects has finished tracking your clip and solving your camera, it's time to start the effect. If we scrub through our timeline, we'll notice we'll have a whole lot of tracking points. If you can't see these, simply go to the effects control panel and increase the track size. Now we're going to need to select a couple of these to use to track our particles onto the video. To do this, simply left click and draw a circle around a group of tracking points that you'd like to use. Then simply right click on that group and select create null and camera. Now simply click on your timeline over here and select new and then hit solid. For the sake of this tutorial, let's call the solid particle layer. Once you've renamed your solid, head over to the effects panel and search for an effect called CC particle world. When you find that, drag that onto your particle layer and head over to the effects controls panel. First, select the drop down menu for grids and guides and uncheck grids, guides and axis box. The next setting we're going to change is birth rate and birth rate basically changes the amount of particles that are placed on your video. And for this particular effect, I found that setting your birth rate to four worked perfectly. Next, let's set the longevity to 10 and head over to the produce tab. Now we're simply going to change the radius X, Y and Z to 10. Play around with these till you find your preferred look. Changing the X and Y radius will space out your particles horizontally and vertically. However, if you change the Z radius, you will start to see a little more depth in your particles. Next, head over to physics and change the velocity to zero because we don't want the particles to actually be moving as we've already tracked them to the movement of the camera. And then we're gonna set the gravity to zero as well. Next, head over to the particle tab and change your particle type to faded sphere. Then change your birth size to one and your death size to 0.2. Now the next step is really gonna bring the effect to life. And we're going to be changing the color of the particles to best match our scene. To do this, simply take the birth and death color eyedropper and select a part of your video that has a color that you'd like your particles to be. So just play around with these settings until you find the best look for your video. Now we're going to do one more thing, and that is to mask out the particles that are covering our body. After Effects isn't smart enough to realize that there are some small particles that cover the body, and it just makes the effect look cleaner if we get rid of them. I'd prefer to do this in Premiere Pro as it is slightly easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select File in the top left hand corner, Go to export and add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. I prefer to export via the Media Encoder because I think After Effects doesn't do the best job sometimes when it comes to exports. So just to be safe, we're going to put it in our Media Encoder Q. Once inside the Media Encoder Q, you can change your settings to best suit your video, change your bitrate, change your preferred preset settings and all of that stuff. When you're done, simply hit the green play button in the top right hand corner and your video will start exporting. Now once your video has exported, you're going to want to launch Premiere Pro. Once Premiere Pro has launched, drop your particle clip into the timeline. Now go back and get your original clip and drop that into the timeline as well. Now you can see here yeah, I have both clips on my timeline. I have the one with the particles and my original clean video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my clean video directly on top of my particle layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the effects controls panel and select ellipse mask. Now what we're going to do is draw an ellipse mask on the clean layer to mask out all of those particles. Now this mask does not have to be perfect. However, if a rough mask doesn't quite work, you're going to want to take the time to make a proper mask. Anyway, once we've created our mask, simply place it over the subject of your video. Next, click on the keyframe button for mask path so that we can now animate our mask to follow our subject. Once I've done that, I'm gonna scrub a couple came, I'm gonna scrub a couple frames forward and move it so that it stays on my subject. Do this for the rest of the clip and you should have a clean mask. If you find that your mask is a little bit harsh, then simply just increase the feather of the mask. And there you have it guys, that is how you get this really awesome looking particle effect. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please smash a like on this video and please consider subscribing. Please don't forget to turn on post notifications to never miss another upload. As most of you guys know, 
If you do have post notifications turned on and are the first to comment on one of my videos, you will be featured in one of my upcoming videos. And last week's first comment was by Ishak. Thank you so much for having post notifications turned on. Thank you for your comment. Your comment should be up on the screen now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new on this very channel. And if you did, I hope to see you back here soon. I post two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. So I'll catch you in the next one. Got an expansion beats. Simply drag this. Oh my god, guys, you don't understand how irritating this is. It's pouring with rain outside right now. We're going through a little bit of a storm. And I mean, it just won't keep quiet. This rain, we've got like a metal veranda outside. It's just so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it on my microphone. I hope you don't. But it's been so hard to film today. I mean, seriously. I can wait here all day. But you can't. Because you have internet restrictions, I guess. I can stand here forever. You can click off the video right now if you want to. But you could also stay because there could be some juicy stuff coming after this. <laughs>